Hi guys, thanks for joining me today on this week's live video. So yesterday I completed my third Edinburgh half marathon, so that's 13.1 miles. But today I'm actually quite stiff and sore, so going up and down stairs, things and if I sit still for too long, it gets quite painful. I get up and I'm sort of hobbling around. But yeah, yesterday's race was good, but I want to talk today about um, what I've learned from the three different races that I've gained and wanted to share that with you today. The yesterday's race, there was um, 10,963 people who finished it. And out of all those nearly 11,000 people, they've all got one thing in common. And that is the fact that they did it. They completed the race. They achieved their goal, whether it be their first ever race or their 100th half marathon. They started and crossed the finish line eventually whether it be in their fastest ever time or they walked it or they ran it, however they got round, they all crossed the finish line and they achieved whatever goals or objectives they had. Or maybe they didn't achieve their goals, but either way, they, they all finished and crossed the line. So for one thing, I, I, for me personally, I get nervous before races. So yesterday morning, I got up about 6 a.m. and had a smoothie and some porridge and some coffee to try to force myself to eat some food. I sort of struggled to do that before races. I just, the pressure of thinking about the race and the pressure I put myself about doing well, um, yeah, it just leads to getting a bit anxious. And so I struggled to sort of stomach food. But yeah, that was all good. I got to the start of the, start of the race and eventually did finish it in a minute slower than last year. But either way, I got around there. So, so, I know like all races, yesterday specifically was pretty mentally tough and physically tough. It was raining, it was quite humid. I was struggling to keep myself cool. Um, I'd gone off pretty fast as well. So I was probably ahead of my projected pace for a one hour, 20 minute finish, which is what I put down as my predicted time. But I ended up finishing in two seconds shy of one hour, 25, which I'm really pleased with. It was halfway around I felt like it was going to be I was felt like I was running really slowly and it was just a struggle to get around so for me the biggest thing I learned from yesterday is just that mental toughness of persisting and getting through um, but there's so many different things I could talk about that I benefited from for different races and from my first race second and even yesterday's race things like about preparation training um, expectations goal setting um, the environment the fact that I'd the expectation of putting in our one hour 20 minute finish time meant that I started with faster people around me and so yeah last year as well I put a similar time down so I was actually having to start off faster because I was running around with faster people and so it actually raised my expectations and made me raise my game as well because I was running around with faster people I think yesterday I probably ran off too fast but hey that's neither here nor there but whether this is your first race or um, your hundredth race, I think that there's one thing which everyone benefits from when they complete the race and regardless how well or didn't, they didn't do. I think the big thing is, personally, this is my thoughts and my experience, is the biggest thing you gain is confidence. Confidence that you were able to get through whatever struggles, even if the, the race didn't go to plan and you ended up walking part of it and you miles off your PB the fact that you finished shows that you're willing to persist and that has to give you confidence but the only way confidence is gained is by actually doing it so that's why today's sign is talking about just doing it so people don't think they're capable of doing these races and I've spoken to some people recently this is their first half marathon and they may not have done as much preparation as they might like but the fact that they decided to set out and start the race and managed to eventually finish it will have given them massive confidence that they know next time if they maybe do more preparation practice and train that maybe next year they'll get a faster time but either way they have to have gained massive, massive confidence which whether they're going to use that for running or just in general day-to-day -day life competing a, a challenge like a marathon or a half marathon has to give you massive confidence in general whether it be fitness related or just sort of confidence about just sort of, yeah, I feel confident or more confident in myself about 
just general day-to-day -day life because you managed to complete this this challenge. So I think that's key. So that's really all I want to discuss and share with you today about regardless what your goals or challenges, whether you decide it's to run a half marathon or a marathon or something even longer or something maybe not as long as a half marathon, but to you it's a challenge. So regardless what it might be, by doing it, one of the key results will be confidence. And it might be scary and take courage to actually do the thing. But once you go follow through, that resulting courage will ultimately lead to confidence. And the confidence is the result. You can't get confidence until you've done, done the thing. And so and it's, you just, just need to do it. And the outcome, the result will be confidence, but you can then build on in future. That's really all I want to share today. So regardless what challenges that you might be dealing with daily, whether it be a, a chosen challenge like a half marathon or maybe just general life challenges by facing up to them and pushing through that fear to encourage then the confidence will then come and that's definitely the thing I've experienced personally so yeah that's what I want to leave you with this week and yeah hope I've got a plan maybe do a run tomorrow we shall see how I'm feeling but yeah I'm still pretty stiff as I've already said but anyway we have a good week I will talk to you again next week